and I was 20 something when I fi finally got a bass guitar and started playing along to like, you know, the breeders and stuff like that. And then I got a regular guitar and started writing songs and didn't look back from then on. Another one is Mississippi Fred McDowell. And I, um, when I first heard him, I was like, I've got to learn how to play slide guitar. And um, that's why I was excited too when Yep Rock said, how about going to Mississippi to record and soaking up some of that atmosphere, because I'm originally from Mississippi. I thought it would be fun. And when we heard Como, that's where Fred McDowell's from, is Como. Well, um, I was still in Trailer Bride and Laura was playing in Grand National with Ed and Jenny. And um, we played a festival, Honky Tonk Arama, at the 506. This was like maybe four or five years ago, five years ago, and um, I saw Laura's band play and I was standing by the side of the stage with my bass player Daryl and we were blown away by her drumming, just completely blown away. I'd never seen anybody play that well, much less a girl. She didn't play like a girl at all. She was hitting them hard. <laughs> She was laying into those drums like there was no tomorrow, and it was beautiful to watch. Well, I think being from Mississippi, I've grown up with a lot of storytelling. I think people like to tell stories, tall tales, interesting stories in the South. My mom's always telling a story, my great aunt's always had stories to tell, and then when I started going to school and read William Faulkner and Flannery O'Connor and just I think in my mind anyway telling a story and being involved in writing songs is kind of using a similar part of the brain you know. This trailer over here Jimbo tells us T-Model Ford lived in it for a while while he was recording or maybe even after he was recording here. Let me do it again. Okay, you're ready. I heard my voice crack on bosom. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you're ready. If your voice is going to crack, that's a good word to crack on, though, I have to say. I think my goal is always the same, and that is just to write as many good songs as I can. And by good songs, I mean songs that carry you away and make you feel like you're in... Um, an alternate space, an alternate way of feeling, you know, songs that make you feel something, whether it be anger or happiness or sadness or a little creepy or whatever. <laughs> <laughs>